All right, Colby and Nick, this is uh, this is my box I built for our that small uh, 3D airplane we that we use the Micro Beast radio gear in. I'll give you some quick rough measurements. It's made out of a couple slip took two slip sheets to make it. It's uh, 23. 23 one way and I'm about 24 and maybe 3 eighths the long way and then height I'm about to five and a half inside as I recall but on the box I'm about almost six inches overall I've got a three inch lip on the lid and I'll slide the lid off here Okay, the lid's off, and uh, you can see the plane in there, and uh, so it's kind of a little longer than it is wide, and then here's that, this inner lip here, I'll give you another shot of it, it's right at five and a half, uh, the inside here diameter on this thing is, we are uh, 20, it's like about uh, 22 and 5 eighths by 23 and 3 quarters. And then I needed, of course, I needed something to hold this thing in place. Probably could have made it slightly deeper, but there's just a, there's the piece that I used to hold the front. The back one, I got a little smarter. That's just one piece, just folded and then center cut out. That's what I should have done on this front piece but I didn't it's actually two two of these smaller pieces back here and over here and then one big one and I could have done it like this and have been but that's what you do when you're prototype I use just the reinforcing packing material to tape it up scored it with my uh, single edge razor blade with the ruler and that seemed to work quite well I did cut off because I should have made it slightly deeper, I did cut off about a little over eighth inch off the back of that rudder back here because it was a little bit too tall. So if you build one, if I build my next one, the the inside on this thing is is uh, five and a half. I'll go five and three quarters. I think the three inch lip on the lid is fine. And then of course I labeled. I put my name over here, put a little arrow, and that corresponds. To that black arrow and the name on top so if I put it line those up the lid goes on uh, and there we go pop the air out of it and back up a little bit and there it is seems to be it's a real nice stiff cardboard uh, seems to work quite well so I got one done <laughs> I don't know how long that took me, but uh, I bet it was a good hour to cut that thing out and engineer it. So now that I got the dimensions, it'll probably be a little bit easier on the next one. So anyway, I'll put this on YouTube, and uh, it is possible to do it.